I went into the detox of early September last year. I went in for a methadone detox. I was after been on methadone for years. I was there for six weeks exactly. Yeah. I had experience in detox centres before, and the all sort of like hospital settings. You know, it was it was it was a, it was a different experience. You know, and I went down even even the setting of the whole place. Like it's just a real relaxed vibe as soon as you get there. There was always something to be doing. I was always busy, you know, that's how the, the programme was done out so that, like, you know, you, you kept going throughout the day and you're not left with too much time for yourself. Well, it was good in myself, you know, it was, it was great to be out in the fresh air, being out with the animals and just actually feeding them and just, just actually doing something for something else. But there's times where I didn't really look forward to, you know, actually going through the withdrawal, you know, I could have <laughs> choked all the animals, you know. Uh, the last thing you want to be doing was cleaning up after animals when you're, when you're not feeling the best, let's just say, yeah. <laughs> We'd be in the, the polytunnels and, um, yeah, actually, the, I would have found that bit more relaxing as well, you know, being in the polytunnels and, and, and just doing a, a bit of plant because that's, it wasn't as strenuous or, you know, it was more, just more relaxed vibe when you are doing the likes of that, you know. You know, it's a real community feel to it. Even going in there, like you, you'd go in and sit down and talk to your key worker, and you know, just from whatever you could be talking about, anything, you know, whatever's going on for you that day, and then you'd be given a few questions to write that night, and you know, just to get a better understanding about what's going on for you at that time, like you know, living in the drug free housing has been great. Just to have that support there as well in the house of people that are going through the same thing. Or when you come home after having a bad day, you know, like there's 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 always someone there. So like when you're when you're at your lowest kind of, you know, there's someone there and you're there to have the laugh as well, like, you know, because that's something that I really miss, like, you know, through years of addiction was just having a proper laugh, you know, and just just not taking things too serious and being able to have a laugh and a joke and you know, that's one thing I've done the last few months is, you know, I've had quite <laughs> quite a lot of giggles. <laughs> yeah. The support that I've got through the trust has been great the last six months since I've left treatment because I, I would, it would have been too soon to actually try and, and, and do all this on my own. Um, you know, so it's, it, it's been a, a perfect little starting block for me to actually get to this place where I'm actually ready to go and, you know, live independently again. I'm very proud of myself sitting here today, like, you know, what, what I've achieved so far and, you know, and what I want to achieve in the future, like, you know, and, and actually believing that I can do it, you know, that, that's a big part, like, because after years of addiction, you know, the old confidence and self-esteem doesn't be, doesn't be, you know, high me and, um, you know, just building that back up and just by, by achieving little goals throughout me, you know, my days, my weeks, you know, and as time goes by, it just keeps building, like, you know, and believing that, you know, I, I can do whatever I sent my mind to.